Hey y'all, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Kristen. I am a stay-at-home homeschool mom of one girl. Today's video is really a continuation of Tuesday's video. Uh, I posted a flip through of the artist unit from Gather Round, and today I'm going to be showing you some of the books that I have pulled from our bookshelves to go along with that. So hang tight and I'll show you what I got. not see Tuesday's video, I will link it up here for you and I will put a link to it in the description. Make sure you check that one out if you want to see inside of the unit that might kind of help you with what I've got going on here. Um, so I'm just gonna get into it. If you have watched any of my book haul, my book outlet hauls, you'll see um, several of the books, but then I also have a few that I want to share with you um, that you guys have not seen before. So let's get started. First things first is this cool Usborne um, general knowledge book. I did snag this one off of Amazon, or not Amazon, book outlet. Um, but really the main reason, I picked this one just because it's cool in general, um, but there are some pages in here that I think will go with artists well. Of course, I'm, it's going to take me a minute to find it. Like this is the music page. Um, the food page would work too, I think. I'm not, not exactly sure. And then there's like a who's who that maybe would kind of correlate. Um, I just think this would be kind of a, a fun one. Here's some treasures that kind of may go. So this will just be a fun one to look at and see if maybe we can do um, sort of like a treasure hunt maybe. That would even be cool. Like, we, you know, if we read about something, see if we could find it in a book, something like that. Who knows? All right, next is the I Am Leonardo da Vinci. This is the Ordinary People Change the World series. And these, this is from the same people who um, did Xavier Riddle, I believe. So it's like this cool sort of comic book, uh, you know, uh, comic strip book. So this one will be fun to read. Again, that is Leonardo da Vinci. And of course he is covered in the artist unit. So that one 100% will work. Um, now these next two, they're, they don't really have, they kind of go with artists and you'll, you'll see what I mean, but they kind of don't. Um, we just haven't read these in a little while and I feel like now's a good time to pull them out. Um, and I feel like I could, I can make it work. So anyway, it's these two. <laughs> so when God made you and when God made the world. So looking through the unit on the last lesson, so lesson 20 is the great design. So it talks about how God created the world and all of, all of that kind of stuff. So I thought these would go so great with that particular lesson, but they're just really cute books. And you guys, some of the illustrations in this one in particular, it's just so bright and so beautiful and vibrant. And of course the message is wonder. <clears throat> I don't know what's happening there, so sorry. Of course the message is wonderful. God made you and he knew your name and he sees you and he loves you. And this is a really, really sweet one. Uh, I believe this one came from uh, Amazon. So of course, everything that I can link, I will have linked below for you. And then this is very similar in um, the way of, the, you know, the messaging, uh, but it's when God made the world. So really, really cute. Look how pretty. So we have those two. Next, this, I'll do this one next because it kind of goes along the same thing. So actually a friend of mine from Facebook did, 
essentially like a group buy for this book. So if I can find it, I 100% will find it and I will put it in the description or I will figure out some way that you guys can get this book because it is fantastic. I feel like we need a lot more books like this uh, and I, I had to get it when it, the opportunity arose and it's called Image Bearer. And the back says, your value comes not from the things that you do. You have worth because God has made and loves you. And what is beautiful about this book is really everything. Um, but it talks about, and I shared this over on my Instagram. So if you guys saw my Instagram, you saw me ranting and raving about it when I got it. So it goes through how God created Adam and Eve, but then God also created us. And some of us have different abilities. What those abilities are, maybe there are special things that we need uh, or that we have to use in order to eat or walk or anything like that. Um, and it gives the, the description of those things down here. And then on the in the back, it also gives you pictures of all of the kids oh it does tell you their name too so you see um finn here and then you can go to the back of the book and you can find the actual picture of finn let's see if we can find finn um yeah so there finn is here um his little his information and it tells you um something about them and then like something that they like or um you know Diff different things, some of their abilities, you know, that they use sign language or something like that. So I think this book is just so special and we need more books like this. So I had to include this one um, because again, it goes with the same thing that God is the greatest artist and creating us and the world was the great design. And that includes everybody. Um, and we're all made in his image. Uh, and I just, I, this just tugs on my heart. Um, and I, I love that. So, all right, two more. These came from book outlet. This one is ready to fly. Uh, Sylvia Townsend is who this one is about. And obviously she was a ballerina. Uh, my daughter is currently doing dance. And so this one will be fun to pull out for her. And we cover um, ballet in the unit. All right, last one is called Through the Window. If you guys saw this book outlet haul, you know I got rid of all the book jackets because I don't like them. <laughs> they aggravate me, um, completely honest. But I thought this was pretty enough that I could go without the book jacket. So it's on the side here. It's called Through the Window. And this is on Mark, ooh, Mark Changle. Yeah. Really, really beautiful. And after looking through it, looks like he did stained glass, which I don't think stained glass specifically is covered in the unit, but it definitely is still an art. And it will be cool to just go through and have another good picture book for us. Beautiful. I may have said that was my last one, but that was not entirely true because, yeah. Anyway, um, I remember that we have these other things that I wanted to share with you. So we're, we're actually almost finished with this one that I'm getting ready to share with you, um, but I will be adding the next one. This is a series. I don't know uh, how popular they are, but I just happened to find it at Target and it looked really fun. My daughter was with me and she thought that it would be really fun to read. Um, so I went ahead and snagged it, figured we would try it and see how she felt about it. And she has taken to this really, really well. And she's actually read 
the entire book. Like I said, I think we have like two chapters left, but everything that we have read so far, she has read. Um, now she does love Sophie Mouse, um, but this one is more intriguing and more engaging for her for her age because the pictures are, um, they're colored pictures. Uh, and so this one is, they're really, really fun. And we will be adding the next one to our uh, collection, but it is Wor Mercy Watson. And this one is book number one and it's Mercy Watson to the rescue. But you guys, like, look at this. Okay, this is perfect. So this is chapter four, okay, start of chapter four. And she just reads one chapter. Unless she feels like it, sometimes she wants to read too, but, and that's it. So super, super light on reading. Great for very beginner readers, um, you know, who are, yeah. Um, good for beginner readers who are wanting some of that independence, but, uh, you know, still, still want like the fun picture books. We, we are really liking this one. So we will be adding these to our list. I'm thinking this will probably replace Sophie Mouse for a little while. Um, just because it's it's a little bit of a step down from the volume of reading with Sophie Mouse per chapter. So it's not as overwhelming. And of course, the pictures make a big difference. So we still love Sophie Mouse. I still will likely do Sophie Mouse for a read aloud for the fall book that I showed you, the Maple Festival. I'll do that one as a fun read aloud because she does like them. This one is just easier for her to read for her 15 minutes of reading. So Mercy Watson. And then we did grab this. We actually got this for um, Christmas, I think. Pretty sure it was Christmas. And we quite honestly have not used it yet because she normally just helps me with whatever I'm doing in the kitchen. But I'm thinking I maybe will let her choose something out of here for one of the Create Weeks, but it's a DK Mom and Me cookbook. And um, it seems really, really nice. I mean, it gives you all of the ingredients with pictures it gives you the pictures down here, you know, of doing each thing. It seems very easy to read. So I think, I think we're, I think I'm just going to try it or we're, we're going to give it a go and see what happens. But I mean, like that's a little bit more intense, but if we allot the time, maybe, maybe we can make it happen. Um, but most of the things seem pretty pretty simple so and since there's the art of dessert we might have to find like some cookies or something in here so that really is it for all of the books and the extras really I'm I'm not gonna be adding a sensory bin um, or anything like that because looking through the lessons there's actually a lot of built-in activities already most of which are going to be uh, listening to music, uh, listening to different instruments, watching videos, things like that. And so I'm just not going to spend the extra money and the extra time trying to make something else work. It's built in pretty good already into the lesson. So I'm just going to supplement with some books this time. We're going to do the create day one day a week. Um, and that's going to be that. So anyway, hopefully this gave you guys some good ideas. If you are looking at doing the artist unit, if not, check out the image bearer book. 100% cannot recommend it enough. So check the description for that one because I will at least put something in there. I don't know if I can find the link, but I will have something in there to tell you how you can get the book. So Anyway, as always, thank you guys so much for watching and I will talk to you soon.